So I've created a new maintenance plan using the maintenance plan wizard right here under backup plan. And I've seen the jobs that it's created for me here under SQL Server Agent Jobs. Okay, what if I wanted to modify that plan? Well, let's talk about some ways we can do that. I'm going to start by giving it a different name. So I'm going to right click and go to rename and I want to call it the AdventureWorks Backup Plan because that's the only database that I'm actually backing up. So that'll just clarify that a little bit for me. So the AdventureWorks Backup Plan and then I can refresh my server connection, expand my SQL agent and jobs and those now say they're the AdventureWorks uh, backup plan subplans. Now I can also modify the job by double clicking on the job or by right clicking on it and going to modify either one. So here are the three subplans and as I click through here I can identify the specific plans. Now I want to rename these as well. So I want this one to be my full backup which is what it is. I'm just identifying it to name it that. I want my subplan 2. And when I double click on subplan 2, see it takes me to my steps here, which is a differentiated backup. And I'm going to change that to differential backup. And I can also add a description if I want. I can also modify here the schedule that it runs at and the account that it runs under if I need to do that as well. And then last but not least, I'm going to rename this one to Transaction Log Backup, or let's just do this as Log Backup. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, so that allows me to see what's happening and I can rename my subplans here. I can change my schedule over here. Over here, I can double click on this and change the specifics of what I'm doing. So, transaction logs, we're backing up for adventure works. We're setting, let me cancel that. We set the destination, the options. And so I can modify the steps in the plan. Now, each of these steps only has one plan. Actually, <clears throat> Each of these subplans only has one step, but before I dive into that, I also want to show you something here under options. Actually, it's not even under options, it's under all of them. Right down here, you can click on View TSQL, and this will show you the transaction log, or not the transaction log, this will show you the SQL code to generate this uh, step of the backup plan, or a step of the maintenance plan. Now, what if I wanted to add another step? So every day, or every hour, I'm doing a transaction log backup. Every once a day, I'm doing a differential backup. Once a week, I'm doing a full backup. What if I wanted to add a database integrity check before I did that full backup? Well, we can do that. We can modify the steps here by going to our toolbox. And in our toolbox, I can choose different steps that I uh, can work with. So you can see right here, I've got a check database integrity, backup database, execute SQL agent job, maintenance cleanup, all the different tasks that I've got here. So if I want to do a database integrity check, I can click and drag that database integrity check over here. Now, you see here database integrity check, select the database, so I'm going to tap on or double click on this to open up my options and I want to do a check on an integrity check on the AdventureWorks database. And I can include indexes, do physical only, do tab lock, do max degree parallelism, again view the code, whatever. So once I'm happy with it, I'm going to click OK, and this is now a valid step. Now you'll notice these two steps aren't related to each other. I want them to be. What I want to do is I want to run the database integrity check before I run the backup. And so the way I'll associate those two is I will take this little arrow. So I just click and drag on this little arrow and then click on my backup database. And so now there is a logical connection. It will do the integrity check, and then after the integrity check, it'll do the database backup. And then, of course, I can add additional steps into my subplan as well. Using this, I can modify this subplan any way that I want to. And I can add additional steps, I can add additional subplans, I can set them to run at different schedules. I can do as much as I want to here. 
So this is how I can go through and modify my plan. So let me go ahead and close this. Yes, I want to save my AdventureWorks backup plan. And click up here so that I refresh the entire thing. And now when I go to my SQL Server Agent and Jobs, you'll see that we have our jobs predefined here. And in our backup plan, and this is for, so each of these jobs, they don't just identify the tasks, they identify the subplans because each of these is that subplan, right? And under my management, management plans, when I double click on this, I can now see that I have an integrity check included in that subplan. All right, now we said at the beginning, before we created this maintenance plan using the wizard, we said there were two ways you can create a maintenance plan. You can create it using the wizard, or you can create it manually. So if I right click on maintenance plans and click on new maintenance plan, and just name this thing temp because I don't plan on keeping it, this actually just generates for you a blank canvas to start working on. So, subplans, so you can generate additional subplans by clicking on Add Subplan. You can add tasks to your subplan by coming over to the toolbox and adding in the specific tasks that you want. Clicking, dragging, that would be a bad one to create. Let me grab the Rebuild Index. And then you can associate those with, you, with each other by clicking and dragging to the new task. And you can use this to build a task or build a maintenance plan from scratch without using the maintenance plan wizard. So that's how you can go through and build your maintenance plans. <clears throat> Now, when you build maintenance plans, it goes ahead and builds jobs for them as well. And remember, each job is tied to, the to a specific subplan in a maintenance plan. So if I created another maintenance plan, say, you know, database consistency checks, then you'd see that here in the associated subplans. Okay. You can also, maintenance plans are a great way to schedule and automate maintenance of your database. You can also create individual jobs and individual alerts outside of maintenance plans. That's going to be what we look at in our next video.